five days to go to Island of Walton. Uh, another open water swim session. A bit breezy, as you can tell by the look on the, uh, on the hair. So, uh, yeah, some of the fast boys today. They're going to kick me into shape and ready for the event. So, there's 2,500 people doing the race. That's nuts. So, yeah, I can't really imagine what it's going to be like to, to swim in that kind of pack. So, yeah, the more experienced now, kind of the better. So I'm just about to do my first Swiss session as a lead rider. Uh, it's a try 24-7, so this evening session is kind of uh, an up and over, so a bit of maximal effort. Um, looking forward to it, we'll see how it goes. So I'm just home after leading my first Swiss ride. Really good experience, really enjoyed it. So I'm trying to pack for uh, team camp in California. So we're leaving on Sunday. What do you take? I have no idea. Good morning everyone, it's uh, 5.35, so it's nice and bright and early, um, we're just about to head off to our first swim session. So it's going to meet at the top about five times and then it's going to drop. Uh, you might get knocked out, you might get a concussion, you might just get a headache. You might not feel anything depending on how that accident occurred. And on this one it was 133 times force of gravity, so 133 Gs. Put your foot on that thing yeah. and push it down a little bit, halfway, and then it'll Foot down, okay, and now push it to the floor. Like that. I'm a new machinist. <laughs> but for the running and swim, which one do you find the most challenging at the moment and having to change sports? How have you done that? Uh, I'd say running is probably my biggest challenge at the moment. It's the end of our first full day at camp. Um, what an amazing day. Uh, we spent the whole day at a specialised HQ. Wow, like. I can't even begin to describe it. Um, so yeah, we got to see our bikes, uh, we got fitted on them, um, and, yeah, and then we spent the afternoon in the wind tunnel kind of dialing in on positions and yeah, trying to get aero and trying to get as fast as possible. So it's been unreal. Like, I can't even describe it. It's just been absolutely fantastic. So we're coming to the end of our uh, first training camp here in California. And what an amazing five days it has been. Honestly, it's been jam-packed. It's been unbelievable. There's no other way to describe it. It's been absolutely incredible. Um, never in my wildest dreams did I ever think I was going to be selected for the Academy, let alone have these experiences. Um, the passion and the support that those guys want to give us is just absolutely second to none. And to have the belief and the support and the faith from them, you know, that's something that you can't really buy and it was just an absolute honour and pleasure to be to be working with them. Oh yeah, you know, um, it's just been an unbelievable week. So I'm back home in Lancashire and this weekend is Ironman Bolton. I've done everything that I can to try and be ready for the event. So now it's just a case of going out there, racing and doing the best that I can do. day after the race and the good news is I managed to get round and uh, you might be wondering how I got on in my age group well uh, I qualified for Kona! <laughs>